Hey guys, Justin here. One of the toughest things about winter camping is staying warm once you get to camp and you stop moving, especially when those temperatures drop well below freezing, which they can easily do at nighttime. Having the right clothing system not only allows you to be more comfortable and warm while at camp, but it means you don't have to go to bed and jump in your sleeping bag at 5 p.m. Today, I'm gonna to share with you guys my winter camping sleep system that keeps me warm down to about minus 20 degrees Celsius or minus four degrees Fahrenheit. And as usual, I'm saving my favorite piece of gear for last and probably one of the most unique pieces of gear that I'm gonna talk about today. I wanted to film this video on the trail, but one of the things with winter camping is that by the time I get to camp and have everything set up, it's dark and I can't film anymore. My routine for winter camping involves getting to camp, setting up my tent and sleeping system, and then doing camp chores like collecting firewood and water. And it's not until I'm done with these activities that I switch out of my travel clothes into my camp clothes. And we're talking about camp clothes today. And there's a very good reason why I don't make the switch until after I'm done these activities, and it has to do with moisture management. There's a very good chance I might get a little bit sweaty when I'm doing these camp activities, and I don't wanna get that moisture into my camp clothes. And while I am very choosy with the material that my camp clothes are made out of, they're not as quick drying as my travel clothes because they're making a couple more trade-offs in order to be warmer. So let's get right into the clothing that I use when winter camping, starting with my toque. So I bring a merino wool toque or beanie if you're in the US, and this could be a fleece beanie or any material really that's merino wool, polyester, or nylon. Those are the three materials that you'll mostly see in my camping clothing. And the material that the product is made of is pretty important and even more important for some of the other items that we're gonna talk about today. Next up, the insulation for my hands. I use the Mount Equipment Co-op Surprise Gloves. So Mount Equipment Co-op is basically the Canadian REI. And what a lot of people don't know is that they ship all over the world. So you can go check them out and they'll probably ship to your country. I'll post links to all the gear that I talk about today in the video description. If you're on your phone, just go click the little arrow next to the video title or click the show more button if you're on your computer in order to see all the links. There's a few things I really like about these gloves. First of all, they're quite packable, so they squish down really small. They use a synthetic insulation as well, so if they do get wet, they're still gonna insulate pretty well. And they're also water resistant. So I found quite a bit of troubles finding a pair of gloves that were lightweight, we're water resistant and we're warm, but these ones were definitely the best ones out of all the ones I looked at and they're pretty affordable to boot. I like gloves more than mitts because they offer a bit more dexterity when doing camp activities like cooking or taking down my tent. Underneath the surprise gloves, I use these Outdoor Research Merino Wool Liner Gloves. I like having a liner glove underneath those main gloves because I can take the surprise gloves off and then still have Good amount of dexterity with these gloves while not exposing my bare skin to the elements. I also like these gloves because they have touch capability on the thumb and forefinger there. So if I'm laying in bed and reading or using my phone, I can still touch the phone and like I said, not have my hands exposed to the, the cold air that's outside. I consider these a base layer and all my base layers are merino wool and we'll talk about why that is when we get into some of the other base layers here. Which is right now because we're talking about my upper body base layer which is a merino wool shirt. I have here the decathlon merino wool t-shirt. It'll vary whether I use a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt depending on how cold the trip's gonna be. And I like merino wool as my base layer because even though it's not the fastest drying, it feels nicest against my skin and doesn't feel clammy when I'm sleeping. And I'll wear my merino wool base layers to bed, including my shirt, pants, and the gloves. And it's really important to be comfortable when you're sleeping. Above the shirt, I'll bring a fleece sweater. So this is a decathlon full zip fleece sweater. So super affordable and quite warm. I like grid fleece when I'm hiking, but I like piled fleece for when I'm around camp because I find it's a bit warmer when you're static. And if it's very cold out, I'll sometimes bring a second fleece sweater to wear underneath this one. Your mileage may vary depending on how cold of a person you are, but the mid layer, those sweaters, are where you can add layers in order to stay warm. My upper body outer layer is one of my favorite pieces of gear, and that's my down puffy. This is the Decathlon Trek 900 down jacket at just over $100. This jacket is super warm for wintertime and has a lot of really great features. I've done a fuller review of this jacket and I'll post that as well in the video description so you can go check that out. Down provides one of the best warmth to weight ratios out of any product out there and that's why it's usually the primary piece of insulation for winter camping. Moving on down, you probably guessed it, on my legs as my base there, I wear a pair of merino wool long johns. These are from Costco, but you can also pick up a really good affordable pair from Decathlon. And we already talked about why merino wool is one of my favorite pieces of material for my base layer. Then the trend continues over top of the merino wool pants. 
I wear a pair of fleece pants. These are from Decathlon. Decathlon just makes really good, affordable gear. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but I love their products. These pants are ridiculously warm. The one thing I wish they had though was a fly. I, I wish all pants came with a fly for men because it's just super useful when you're out there in the backcountry. And then I also use down insulation on my legs, specifically a pair of cheap down pants from AliExpress. These aren't the warmest pa pants out there, but they get the job done for me. A wish list piece of gear for me is the down pants made by North Face, the Summit L3, I think. They look like a really super rich pair of pants with a waterproof butt and knees. So if you're around camp, that's a really nice feature, as well as they're quite a bit warmer. One thing to be careful of with these down outer layers is that down holds on to moisture quite a bit. So if it is raining or if it's really wet snow, then you wanna be protecting those outer layers, the down pants, down jacket, with some sort of waterproof shell. So sometimes if I'm going out and I know it's gonna be those conditions, then I'll bring a waterproof jacket and waterproof pants. Getting down to the feet, my feet run really warm. So for me, I just bring one thick pair of wool socks. These keep my feet nice and toasty, especially in the next piece of gear that we're gonna talk about. And if your feet run really cool, then maybe consider adding a liner to those socks, or you could even check out a pair of down booties. So these are just little down booties that you can wear over top of your socks and they'll keep your feet nice and warm if you're sleeping. Now onto what I think is one of the coolest pieces of gear in my winter camping kit, and that is booties. So these are the Expedition booties from Mountain Equipment Co-op. They are made with synthetic insulation, they have a water resistant shell, and then also have a nice sole for walking around camp. But the coolest thing that I like about these boots is this gator cuff that comes up. So I've never seen this on any other kind of mainstream booty, but when you're in really deep snow and at winter camp, you can pull this cuff up over your pants and it protects your pants from the snow and then it cinches at the top so that you don't get snow getting into your boots. This feature is super awesome. If you go camping in places with deep snow, then definitely consider getting this. It makes it a bit more of an expensive product, but these booties really warm really comfortable and just an all around awesome product to have if you're out there at camp in wintertime. If you guys are interested in the seven essential tips that I think everyone should know for winter camping, I'll post a link to that video right up there. Winter camping is a ton of fun, especially if you're staying warm. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.